interesting spot here. I mm, think our suits is very good as a bet. Uh, we want to put like king queen type of hands uh, in different. Yeah, do we? Do we? Uh, yeah, we could put ace jack no suits in different as well. Ten seven four right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's start off with a small bet. All right, Monday fun day. Let's go. Warming up with some DTO before we jump into the pokers. The spot we're going to look at today is button versus cutoff. 20 big line single race pot. So we can just quickly go through the ranges here first. The cutoff is a pretty standard opening range here with force plus. We have ace to suitor plus, even king four at the bottom, but it's only 30%. Six are suitor is the lowest suitor connectors, 25% of the time. We have uh, six eight as the lowest gapper. All the 7x suited 7x's and uh, queen 6 suited at the bottom with the queen x's. Offset cards we have ace half plus and the a6 being only half like 55%, so a bit lower there. And we have 10 on offsuit, queen on offsuit, and king on offsuit, but not, or I mean, you have jack 9, but it's 5% opening range. Very low there. Uh, and button calls with 8% of range, which is pocket force. And King's Plus. Pocket Force is only 25%. And you also flat Queens like 10% here. Do flat some pseudo connectors though. 5 4 suited all the way up to 10 and suited with a mixed frequency. In general, we have a lot of suited 9 axes here. King 10 9 to Ace 9. 10 is suited we have. And we have Ace 3, Ace 2 suited, Ace 6 suited, and Ace 8, Ace 10. Also, a Queen 10 and King 10 here is in the mix with like 34%. The offset cards we have Queen Jack off. King Jack off, King 10 off, Ace 10 off, and Ace 9 off. And that's the arranges for you. Yeah, alright guys, so cut off, button, 20 big blinds. Let's jump right into it guys, with the, yeah, all the random American players, both the cut off and the button. Alright, so the first spot, we the button with King 10 of diamonds on Queen 7, 6, 2 spade. We have a backdrop flush drop. He bets 24%, which is 1.6 blinds. We were playing 18 blind circles, well. Yeah. So uh, he's uh, sizing is 25 on Queen 6. 24%. 24%, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting uh, that he actually bets small here. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to do more, more betting when we're more shallow because I know this is going to be a lot of checking when, when we're uh, deeper and. Uh, not much small betting, I think. But yeah, he bets small. We have a backdoor with King 10. Uh, the board was Queen 7 6, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess small sizing. Let's go for floats. All right, and the turn card is an offset ace. And now he checks to you. We have two sizing or three. We have 20, 54, and all in 168. Okay, so my immediate reaction is that uh, if you have a betting range here, which I think we do, it's probably going to be uh, a bigger bet. Uh, because we probably got to do a lot of checkbacks as well. Um, if you have a queen here, I don't think it makes much sense to bet, right? So our, our betting range for a value is probably an ace or better, right? Uh, so what do we do with king 10? That's the question. Of course, we have a gutter. We can realize equity here. Not that many ace axes we have. So not sure about betting this. I guess we want him to have like kings and tens. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a check back then. Your card is a jack. Straight. Wow. Yeah, not a good start. Yeah, he bets 20%, which is two blinds, with 14.4 behind. So we have two yeah. ray sizings here, to eight blinds, or all in 16 blinds. Is it 4x or 8x? Yeah, it has to be easy decisions, right? We're greedy with the nuts, so we're going all in. He called. Excellent. What did he call with? Uh, ace, five of six. With no wow, space so yeah. Went for a block bet there with Ace to put some of my Queen X's in different, maybe. Hmm. If I, yeah. All right, so let's jump into his uh, strategy on the flop on Queen 7 6. He checks 25%, that's small 66, and that big 8%. All right, guys, so a surprise already. I uh, think I'm way too passive in this spot out of position here, but keep, keep in mind we're more shallow. Stack of threshold is lower, we can stack off uh, with a much wider range and, 
And I guess uh, how the ranges look, I guess the cutoff is going to have more queen axes in this range, especially offsuit variety and, uh, and a lot of interaction as well. On this board, yeah. Yeah, uh, did he have big bets or just small? The cutoff? Yeah. 8% big bets. Okay. 8% building around king queen. Hmm. Yeah, Queen Jack Kings, Ace Queen. Yeah. Interesting here. Huh. Okay. So maybe it's gonna be a pattern. Maybe a lot of small betting out of position, which I'm not doing enough um, with um yeah, with these stack sizes, uh, this is the first time we do this spot. So yeah, I'm eager just to continue, but we can check the in position as well, of course. The in position calls sixty nine and race fifteen. It's kings and queen jack, top mm. it's king nine, king eight. Yeah. With a flush draw. Yeah, with a flush draw. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and we're gonna check my assumption on the turn. If his uh, batting strategy is uh, big, which is now calf puts. If he yeah, he doesn't have any small sizings at all here. The, he yeah. Or I mean the cutoff. But he checks 75% range and then bets 24%. The cutoff, but what about the button? The button. Yeah, 52% check and then 46%. Uh, for the bigger size, no small. Yeah, okay. Yeah, some assumptions are correct here. Um, could we bet the queen on the turn? Some of them, maybe? We don't. Uh, no, we only have queen 10 and queen 9 suitor here. And queen yeah, okay. off. That's, so yeah. those are checks. Those are checks, okay. So no queen axes there, so yeah. Uh, yeah. King, queen, race on the flop. Too good, too good. Queen, jack, we can slow play, but checking the turn. Then we build around ace axis. The reason why I thought we could bet some queen axis is because it's betting half his range. We have that many ace axes here, apparently we do. Mm. All right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what kind of bluffs are we choosing then on the turn? Since king 10 was not a bet. 10 8 is a fairly high frequency here, all combos. Uh, uh, 10 okay. 9 as well. And sometimes jack mm. 9. And mm. uh, king 9. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, population. This uh, this these combos are very good to just go pure with. I think against population. I think even King Ten is probably good to do go, go pure against population because he did check an ace here, but I don't think people are doing that. Uh, and also, I don't think people are betting that many ace axes out of position on the flop, which means coming to the turn, people are gonna have way too many like jacks, tens, queen axes in their, their range. So if we start to bomb on the flop uh, on the turn here with the yeah, the big size and shoving the river. I think it's gonna be very hard for cutoff to continue unless he's protecting his range with a lot of ace axes in this line. But I don't think popular people are doing that. So that's also a good popula uh, population tendency to think about. Uh, we can go exploitative here in uh, position, and we still bet half a range, which is yeah a good strategy, I think. Mm. All right, next. Next spot. All right. <clears throat> Button again with queen jack offsuit, king queen seven, two diamonds seven on. Checks to you. Okay, and this is interesting. I'm just wondering if uh, this is also a spot where we should bet big if we bet there because. Uh, I feel like my combo is very, very often just a check back, which means our betting, uh, betting uh, strategy is pretty similar to the, the, the previous hand we had, where the ace hit the turn and uh, we bet big because we bet an ace or better as our value range. And maybe here as well, we don't really protection that, I think. So king or better is probably our betting range. So maybe this is one of the few flops you're actually going to bet big on what he checks to us. So I'm just going to check back queen jack. Turn card is an offset 8, and it checks to you. You have 30 and 77. Okay, so I know in game I really like to just check back again because there's still a lot of hands that we need to protect here. Uh, because um, we can't, or maybe that's wrong of me to think that we can't go to the streets now because we still have the best hand a lot, but we do also play against someone who's going to protect the range a little bit, which means we're not always ahead more comfortable against humans to go bat bat here for value. They're not going to protect the range enough, so Queen Jack feels like a nuts against population, but maybe not against this guy. Maybe we want to check back here and make him bluff some lower, lower showdown value on the river, maybe, I'm not sure. Mm. So, uh, is there a flush draw? Yeah, two diamonds on the flop. Yeah, no, no diamonds. No diamonds. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Mm. Yeah, to the board was... King, Queen, 7, 8. Uh, uh, it's not like we're uh, exploiting ourselves by uh, by betting or checking. Like, like 
unexploitative wise we still have a lot of a size and shit that we don't don't bat to turn with so having some strong hands in range is probably necessary to not get exploited let's check river three and now he bets 20 percent 1.3 blends uh it's very hard to not raise rice uh, it's hard to bluff as well, but it feels like we have the knots. Uh, this is so easy race against population. Not racing here is a disaster against the uh, humans here. <laughs> so uh, m maybe even in GTO we should race, but having bluffs here is not easy, I think. But I guess the computer is going to find some bluffs as played. It's a very sexy line to just check, 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 brick, and we race against the bat. How much can we race? We have two sizings, uh, 4x and all in, which is 14x. So 5.4 blinds is the race, the small race. Yeah, the only issue is that we have a jack in our hand. We want him to have jacks here. But oh well, he can have 10 still. And uh, it's going to be an iffy spot. Um, the, the, the only thing I'm thinking about right now, this is against a GTO solver that we don't have to think about against population, right? Because when we raise here the turn, we don't have the river, you mean? The river. Mm. He can exploit us by turning something into a bluff and shove, maybe. Maybe that's not true because we still have kings on the button. So it's not like he's like, oh, he never has better than Queen Jack. We can shove now. He doesn't have a king. But yeah, we do have kings in our range as well. Yeah. Uh, let's race then. Uh, to 5.4x, our blinds, you mean? Yeah, yeah, easy race in game for sure. He folds. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not a pure check on the flop, but it's 81% with holdings. We can mm. bet, uh, yeah. Half spot, which is the bigger sizing, 19% of the time. Yeah, what about range? Let's check his uh, position first. He checks range on this flop. Yeah, out of position checks, all right. And, yeah. uh, and what about button? We check 61. We have no small bets, like you said. And 37% uh, okay. for big sizing. Okay, that's good to understand these spots. What about uh, turn? I didn't check the turn there. But I will close. So when it comes to his range first, 67 check. He doesn't really like he has a couple of small bets, but mainly he's betting pot. Five point, or is it an over bet? Or is this, uh... No, it's uh, probably six and a half. So the, his bet size would be five blinds, like eighty percent or mm. something. That's twenty-seven percent of the range. All right, let me check in position. And in position, we check back sixty-seven again and bet thirty-two percent of the range. Big. Mm. Yeah. And then our queen jack combo here. Queen jack is mostly checking again, eighty five percent and fifteen percent big sizing. Yeah. All right. Got it. Excellent there. Guess racing river was mandatory. Uh, we could actually. Call. It's the same EV actually. I'm calling forty four percent and racing fifty six. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, sexy line here. What did you have? A set offsuit. Great. Uh... Mm, thin value bets. Mm. Yeah, all right. Next bot. Again on the button with Queen Jack. This time, flop is 1074. We have power suitage. And checks to you. Yeah, interesting spot there. I mm, think our suit is very good as a bet. Uh, we want to put like King Queen type of hands uh, in different. Uh, do we, do we, uh, yeah, we could put Ace Jack no suits in different as well. 1074, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's start with a small bet. Ooh, in accuracy. Oh, such a good combo to bet, though, with two overs. Mm. Yeah, but it's not small. You want to bet uh, half foot. Okay. Yeah, because my combo accomplished much more by half foot than small. Mm, because we really want to put two overs in different that, uh, that dominates us. Yeah, I mean, even Ace Queen is going to be in a tough spot there if you bet half the right? Mm, nice. Yeah, we don't have any small bets. We, it's like a 50 50 with Ranger check or bet half foot. Okay. Yeah, this is different from when we're more deep. As I said, it's the first time we play this with 20 big blinds. Because deep, then a lot of one thirds, very few flops that we like bet big on. But uh, the stack of threshold is smaller here and. Uh, uh, protecting equity is also much more important the more shallow we get 
And if you have a ten areas, protecting it is much more important. And um, if we retry and go half foot, I'm just wondering how his response is. Let's check and see. He just falls, but we can check. Um... Yeah, check ace queen no suits. He probably just is it pure falling or just indifferent? Uh, he floats or even ace check as well here. Uh, no suits. Yeah. Wow. On ten seven four. Uh, mm. That's. Uh, I would. I would not. Not for. I would not pure call. I think. Uh, king but king Jack. queen offsuit is falling, and king jack is falling with no suits, of course. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, you have to spray that yeah. yeah. Okay. So of course we accomplish something then with queen jack. Mm. Uh, so half foot. I wonder how many flops you're supposed to bet half foot in position because it's not a strategy I'm used to. Mm. I go one third so often here in these spots. But yeah, learned something new already. All right, nice. Let's move on. Button again, and queen jack off again. <laughs> ace, eight, seven. No, ace, eight, uh, four. I mean, two diamonds and a queen of diamonds. He's probably right? checking here a lot, right? He checks you now, at least. Okay. Um, yeah, so a bit iffy as well. Like, we have two cards we want him to have there. Not sure how he plays this spot, because if he's betting ace, queen, and ace, jack on a flop, then queen, jack becomes even worse, right? If he bets ace, queen, and ace, jack, because now it's more likely it's gonna have pocket queens, pocket jacks, or king, queen, king, jack. Uh, ah, we just check then. Turn jack, we pair up. Two flush draws now, we have uh, no better blocker. We have a flop one though. And he delay 77%, which is 5.1 minus. Ah, oh, what an awful spot, right? Uh, uh, because his strategy is probably gonna be a lot of checking on the flop. Uh, and if he checks a lot of flop, oh, he has a lot of ace axes right now. But we did turn a pair, and I just wonder how the strategy looks on the bottom, because if the bottom protects his range a lot with ace axes as a check, then we don't have to defend a jack, because then we still have a lot of ace axes, right? It's, it feels really ugly, but it was two flush rows, right? Mm -hmm. And you block none. No, yeah, flop flush row, you block with the... Okay. I think it's much better to unblock the block, the unblock the flop, than the back door, because when you don't block the back door, he's gonna have more give ups on the river. If you get what I'm saying, because if you call the turn here and let's say he has queen ten suited with a backdoor flush, he don't wanna bluff this combo. He wanna give up now because he don't wanna block my backdoor flush draws. Go for a call. River four pair in the board, no flush cut in, and he check 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 check. No, it was small, no. nineteen percent, which is three points with nine plus six behind. <laughs> what? This is such a strange line. I'm so confused. Is this GTO? <laughs> Shouldn't he just shove now? Like he's saying on the turn he has an ace, and he's saying on the river that he has. Kings? Like what? <laughs> I am so confused. What is he saying he has with this line? And why is he betting so small? So, uh, he's trying to put my jack in different because if he shoves, I just snap fold my jack axis and call my ace axis. So, this side's gonna accomplish more. I am confused, which is cool. Good. What did he have? You'll never guess. Never guess? <laughs> what's the, what's uh, repeat the board? I, Ace, I'm so eight, curious. Four, Jack, four. Two flush us turn. <laughs> uh, that's, that's difficult. Uh, ten, nine, uh, I mean, ten, nine of, ten, nine of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, You're not far off, but uh, he has one... hearts. No, it has one no. arch, so one off suit. But... Ten and off, no. Oh. Uh, queen ten off. Qu queen nine off. Queen nine off, no heart, no yeah. uh, no suits. He had a, a nine for backdoor suits, but queen of hearts. No, okay. No heart. Mm, that's why I bet so small. 
<laughs> feel like he's just playing his hand there. <laughs> Not what the hell? Okay. Um, okay, check like the flop first. Yeah, he checks eighty one percent, and then he he does split his range into two sizings here: eleven small and seven and big. But it's not much betting in general, though. Like a strong ace or like 10 7 with no back to flush for other hands and pocket fours mm. or set. <laughs> okay, and then the turn here. Uh, by the way, your uh, response here in position with holdings 47% check back and 53% small. Yeah, so pretty close here. So, yeah, since he's, he's doing a lot of checking on the flop, so blocking ace, queen, ace, jack makes sense because he's checked those anyways. Mm. All right, nice. Um, yeah, the turn strategy is very... Uh, I mean, the river is the craziest, though. But yeah, turn then first. So he checks 69, and but uh, like 80%, 30% of the mm. time. And uh, yeah. we should call pure with holdings. Mm. We have a 4% jam here as well. So we do jam like ace 10 and ace 9 here, actually, with no flush. Mm. Yeah, no flush cards. Important, guys. Get in those jams when you don't block the flush draws. Mm. And on the river, it can be like he, he's gonna have a lot of all ins on the river, I would think, right? Yeah, but so he checks 47, but uh, small 21 and jam 32. Yeah, and these small bets are just not intuitive for us human to do at all there. Uh, so, uh, he has to have some ace axis in a small bet, and just pick linear, just go for the smaller kicker as is 19%. Hmm. Linear, the higher but, kicker, uh, more all in. Huh? Yeah, but his uh, combos are really low frequency, it's like 12%. Hmm. Yeah. No. And it's like two combos. You want to have the nine of spade and like, the queen of not flush draw blocker. That's the two combos you got here of these old days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, interesting spot there. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do a couple of more then. Queen six suited in the cutoff. Flop is eight, seven, deuce, two diamonds. You have no suits. Check fold. Has to be easy, right? Check, check, turn eight, pair in the board, offset to the board. Uh, Yeah, I know in game, check fold, but should I actually bet? Hmm. Just depends how my strategy looks on the flop. I don't think we're like range betting this flop. So, probably not gonna have that many strong hands in range. But uh, oh, I'm unsure about it, but I go for a check. Mistake. Ah, uh, this is bad now. Check the flop strategy first. Just wondering uh, mm. how the strategy looks here because I, I do a, a lot of betting here, I think. Yeah, we can do everything here. It's very evenly split here between the three options mm. 37 check, 32 small, 30 big. No. Yeah, yeah and, that's uh, what I thought. That, you know, <laughs> yeah, it felt like we missed a lot of like eight axes and shit in our range because we bet those on the flop, right? So not, not like gonna... Jack Gate is like a still a mix here actually. Mm. 40, 50. Yeah, but you guess majority of eight axes bets bets the flip. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, on the turn, yeah, we still have strong hands on turn, so we just use our queen six to clean out this queen axes that often check the flop, like in queen top of hands. And blocking sixes makes sense to do actually in this spot because then we block calling range, which is nice. Yeah. I think every spot we've looked at so far, when it goes check check, the bet sizing on the turn from out of position mm. is seventy seven percent every time. Yeah. It's either yeah. check or bet big. Yeah, after he caps himself then of course we go polarized. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense though to bet the turn. But yeah. Now let's just end it now because we have a grind. So let's jump into the grind then guys. Let's go.